So on this one, <clears throat> so the trick on this one is we have this feet squared down here, right? Um, and so the, I mean, let me just write, let me pull up my whiteboard too. Not that anyone can ever read anything I write on the whiteboard, but. <laughs> Okay, so we're, go we're trying to go from ounces per feet squared to grams per meter squared, right? So, so here's our goal, right? Our goal is to go from, whoops, let's get a thing to write. Our goal is to go from ounces per feet squared to grams per meter squared. And it makes sense, right? Because uh, ounces here is a measure. This is the weight version of ounces. So we have a measure of weight, yeah. measure of weight, measure of area, measure of area, <clears throat> right? Yeah. And so the sort of the obvious thing to do. I mean, we the, the thing is you have to look at our table and see what we actually have, right? So first of all, we we do have a way in our table of just getting directly from ounces to grams, right? Yes. And so just just to verify that, like we come up here and we look and we say here's an ounce in grams, right? So there, in other words, there is a row of our table that has ounces and grams. <clears throat> So that's kind of what we look for when we're doing our conversion. So, so I can I can get the grams on top and get rid of the ounces by doing grams over ounces here. Okay, so that's good. I can do that. And then just to just to cross things out, right? It's like get, right, those are gone. And so if I want to, I could even as an intermediate step, okay, my new units now are gram per feet squared. All right. Now the Kind of the obvious thing to do that we don't do in this table because just because of the way we're trying to set it up and get people to fill in the blanks, so to speak, mm -hmm. right? We, we make you do something a little bit weird here. The kind of the obvious thing to do would be to do feet squared over meter squared. That would be the obvious thing to do, yeah. right? And then we would just cancel our feet squared and our meter squared. Right, and then we just have to figure out what to do. So let, actually, let me let me do it in the sheet the wrong way like that, and then we'll go and fix it. But just just to point out that there is sort of a more normal way of doing that. Um, so let's see. So the first one I was putting um, grams on top and ounce. So this was going to be grams over ounces is what I want here. <clears throat> and then here I'm going to do what's not quite right. I'm going to say I really wish I could just replace this with feet squared on top over meter squared on bottom. Um, and then I don't actually have to do anything here because I'm actually done when I do that, right? So I end up I end up here with grams over meters squared, right? Yeah. When I when I've done that, and just let's verify that because I don't think I quite finished saying that, right? So when I cancel those things out, right? Um, what I oops that's red. What I do have here at the end is uh, grams on top and meters squared on bottom, and that's all I have there, right? Which is what we want. Okay, so to do that in Excel in sort of a more normal fashion, I do equals, right? And then uh, I come up here and I find my grams. It was grams over ounces, right? So grams on top, ounces on bottom, right? Because that's the order I have them here, right? Yeah. And then over here, I want, so, so here's, you do kind of a little tiny itty bitty bitty bit of algebra here. And you say, well, this is the same as feet over meters, all quantity squared. <clears throat> right? Yeah. So so we can do that, right? We can say equals, and I can put a parentheses and do my um, feet, where's my feet in meters, feet in meters, there you go. So feet over meters, right? But now, so you see there's that formula and I'm gonna square it. So raised to the second power, right? So I can do like that. And then I just wanna multiply all these things together, right? So equals, and I'm gonna have this, times this times that, right? And so that'll be right. Okay. Okay, now the problem is we don't uh, actually yeah. give We're you not... this, right? Yeah. So the way we make you do this is actually in two steps. So of course, feet over meter squared is just feet over meter times feet over meter, right? So instead of doing what I have there, we just put feet over meter here, and then we just do it again, feet over okay. meter, right? So we're just, we are doing it squared. We're just doing it two separate steps. And so here, I don't want this square, right? And in here, I could copy that formula. I could, since this is the same, I could just say equals that, right? Yeah. Uh, and now here, I need to throw in 
times the last thing, right? Because there's actually four things that need to be multiplied together, all four of these cells, right? Oh, sorry, all four of these cells need to be multiplied together to give me that cell. Yeah. Right? Good. Okay, so let's try this this one um, that, I, that I made up there at some previous video. Let's see if we can do this. So here I want to go from ounces over feet times gallons to ounces. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. I want to go from, yeah, that's right. I want to go from ounces per feet per gallon. Let me just write it like that. To grams per meter per liter. <laughs> I'll probably have to look again. Okay. So let's clear this. Okay. So here we're going to go, oops, erase uh, ounces per feet per gallon, is that right? To, I forgot now, it was grams per meter per liter. Grams per meter per liter, <clears throat> right that, right? So that's the sort of conversion we want to do, yeah. okay? Now, now there, like you do have to kind of, so the, the way you read this, you know, that's how we, you know, reading it in English, that's what we read, right? But we have to be a little bit careful about what this means, right? And so, you know, that's where I have this little bit of algebra on the side. When you do A over B over C, the way you parenthesize this would be like that in this case. Um, actually, no, 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 no. See, I'm saying it wrong. This is why it's really bad notation to do that, right? Uh, let's 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 do it uh, like this, right? It's really like ounces per feet, right? So think of that as a unit now per gallon. It's really whoops, don't do that. Uh, it's really come on. It's really like that, right? Well, brother, brother, me, sister. Yeah. Okay. brother, brother, me. So um, hold on, just then, real quick. Yes. It was twenty. Okay. You have you have a little noise in your background. Uh, that's going to get. Yeah, sorry. The, <laughs> that's going to get into the video, but all right, we'll we'll have that. Um, okay, so so here, right? This has the this has sort of the algebraic form, like a over b, right? Uh, over c, right? That's kind of the form of this thing. Yeah. Right. And so now we're going to do a little bit of math. So that's the same as a over b. Right, and when I divide by C, it's the same as multiplying by one over C, right, like that. Okay, so this would be the same as A over B, C, right? So, you know, when you multiply fractions, you just multiply across, right? So it's yeah. like that. Okay, so it's a little better to think of our units like that. So think of this unit as ounces over feet times gallon, right? Think of it like that. Right, and we want to get to grams over meter times liter, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's what we want to get to, and we can look at our table and we can see that we can do that. We can get from ounces to grams. Actually, let's see what we can do here. And we can get, oh, can we get from ounces to grams? Let's make sure I can do that. That's a question. Uh, yeah, I can get directly from ounces to grams. I can get directly from meter to feet. I know that, and let me see what the last one was. Uh, gallon to liter. I can get directly from gallon to liter. So I think I can get okay. directly. So in the video, yeah, you do end up doing this one because we have gallons or uh, grams over ounces, feet over meter, gallon over liter, and then uh, grams over meter times liter at the end. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah. is the one that you end up doing in the video. Yeah, well, now we're going to just redo it. And, ho and hopefully this will be clearer. So um, yeah, so so here I've got ounces over mm -hmm. feet, and and you can go, you can sort of attack this in any way you want. So we're gonna we're gonna have to make we got like three arrows here, and we're gonna have to do three things, right? That basically is what that means. So let's do the let's do the gram and ounce thing. So I I want to get rid of the ounces on top and put grams up there. So I want to do gram over ounces. In fact, let's just do them all. Then we'll do the cancellation afterwards. Then I want to get rid of the feet on bottom, so I want to put feet on top, and I want meters on bottom, so I want to put meters on bottom, and then times, right? And then I want uh, liters on bottom. I want to get rid of the gallons on bottom, so I want gallons on top, 
<clears throat> right? And I want leaders on bottom. That's that's the sort of uh, that's that's the units, right? I mean, we don't yeah, yeah. we don't have any of the actual numbers here. We just have the units there, right? But that's the units we're going to use. And then we go through and we cancel everything, right? The ounces cancel, right? The um, feet cancel, right? The gallons cancel, <clears throat> and just to say what we have at the end, right? We end up with what we want. We have gram over meter times liter, right? So so that's what we yeah. want. Okay, so I have gram over ounces, feet over meter. All right, so here I have gram over ounces. Uh, then I have feet over meter. And what was the last one? Gallon over liter, right? Gal uh, Oops, the not there. Here. Yeah, so the third over. one's gallon over meter. Liter there. And then the liter. final unit was um, that thing <laughs> grams per meter yes. per liter so yeah. uh grams per meter per liter right that's how we kind of say it whoops what it just happened there what did i just do okay um grams per meter per liter right and that's the same as uh grams over and now you need the parentheses here actually uh, meter times liter right so like that okay so that's that's what we're shooting for there and then we just go plug in from our table, right? So now we do the usual thing. So equals, and I have gram over ounces. So I have gram here divided by ounces, right? And then I have here equals, and I have, oops, not there, here. What did I just do? Okay, stop that. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> equals uh, gram over ounces. Okay, hit the enter button. Okay, equals um, feet over meter, uh, feet, meter, feet over meter. Okay, and then last gallon over liter equals gallon over liter. So gallon over liter. People get really confused and want to turn these orders around, right? The order in which these things are in there, like if I, this is D14 over A14. D14 is grams, A14 is ounces, right? So these, these, ratios here are in exactly the same order as these ratios here. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Okay. And then we're just going to multiply. So e time times this times that times that. Okay. There we go. And it's green. Yay. So that's what we want. And hopefully this video will turn out clearer and then I can just fix that up.